morning guys how are you I feel like I haven't been on in so long uh, I just wanted to come on really quick this morning and let's talk about where I've been I feel bad because I haven't been um, very active on YouTube lately past couple weeks uh, between work and home and the weather's nice I haven't had a whole lot of extra time but I've still been watching um, every little chance I get I'm watching your guys' videos um what else is new and I'm having my coffee mm. I'm so early for work this morning so here I sit and I talk to you guys um so let's see where have I been a lot going on work home as you all know from my previous videos, I've been struggling with menopause. So I've been dealing with those symptoms. I'm just very tired all the time. Um, I kid you not, I'm sleeping by like 7 o'clock every night. I just can't keep my eyes open. Um, and also, I went back to my bariatric doctor. Everything went so well. I'm so excited. Um, I got my fill. A lot of my old subscribers, you guys know that um, a few months back I had to have all my fluid taken out because I was having issues with my lap band. And again, I had lap band several years ago. I lost a ton of weight. Um, so yeah, had my fluid taken out, but I had to go back yesterday to have my fluid put back in and I feel amazing. You guys. I mean, it was nice being able to eat what I wanted, but I kind of missed having that restriction. So, yeah, went back, got it. I'm at three cc's of fluid, which is perfect. I have restriction. I'm not getting sick. Um, I, I have hardly no appetite. This is wonderful because I have put on about 10 pounds in about three months. Yep, I've been eating. But I've enjoyed myself. I knew once I had my fluid put back in, back to reality, can't eat. So, um, yeah, I've had no appetite. Um, I'm, I'm only able to eat very little again. So, uh, within a couple weeks, I will be back to my normal weight. And then hopefully, too, I could lose a little more, too. But as long as I just um, lose the weight gain, that's all I care about. Um, I could care less about being skinny then I just I feel the weight gain so yeah I'm excited my be uh, my fill worked I could barely eat um, I'm drinking um, but yeah I just have no appetite which is wonderful I haven't craved any sweets so life is good um, and I actually have had less anxiety so I'm almost wondering what them taking my fluid out was causing me anxiety because I was obsessing over my eating. I didn't want to overeat. You know, you get accustomed to having your lap band and then when you don't have your fluid anymore, I don't know, I guess it was causing me a lot of anxiety. So I feel better today. Yeah, my mood is a lot better. Um, I just love not being able to eat. I do. Most people will say, oh, you're crazy. No, no. I like only being able to eat a certain amount. So then I also talked to my bariatric doctor about having revision surgery. Woohoo! Yes. So as I'm laying there getting my fill, um, I'm like, Dr. D, I got to talk to you. He's like, what, what? I'm like, I want revision surgery. He's like, okay. No hesitation, no nothing. Which he told me he would before, but... I still, did, I don't know. I was a little nervous. I thought maybe he'd change his mind. So he said, yeah, okay. So, he wanted, I wanted to have the gastric sleeve done. He said no because I've already had lap band. I have to have the gastric bypass. So, within the next few months, I will be having revision surgery to have my lap band removed and to have the gastric bypass done. So, it's two surgeries within the next few months. So, I'm not looking forward to that. But I'm looking forward to the outcome. Um, I feel like with my body going through all these changes, I need something more than just lap band. I feel like that's just not going to be enough. I want something more long term. Um, and I don't, they, they don't even do lap band anymore like that. So, yeah, it's time for an updated surgery. 
So yeah, I'll be having the bypass. Um, what else? What else happened? It's really, I'm really excited. I like being able to feel in control of my eating again. Um, I'm excited because oh, I go back uh, July. I believe July 28th. Don't quote me. I know it's at the end of July. I go back for the consultation to talk about the revision surgery. So I'm pretty excited. I think that's it guys um, I hope you guys are all doing well um, like I said the weekend's coming I'm gonna try and catch up and comment more on my vi on your guys' videos I've been watching though a lot of things are like just so disturbing on YouTube lately I just I'm watching you guys' videos and so many of you are getting harassed by bullies it makes me sick Granny, Granny's, Granny over at Granny's place, Deborah, little crazies. It's like, oh my God, people that you would least expect to get so much hate are getting the just so much. I, I just can't stand it, and that's too why I stayed away from YouTube for you know a little bit. It's like you get tired of all the negativity. People have way too much time on their hands. Like, go out, get a life. You know what I mean? Stop secluding yourself in your house, being an internet bully. Like, I don't know, it's just sad, because most of the time the bullies are people who have no life, you know? They're mean, they're lonely, you know? And then there's people like us that actually have lives, you know, have friends, family, we work, we're not in our house all day, you know what I mean? It's like, they, they suck the enjoyment right out of YouTube, but, like I said, this weekend, I'm going to get caught up, start commenting more, because I have no plans for the weekend. But, all right, guys, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to finish my coffee. I'm just, like, so tired this morning. It's Friday. I've had enough. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for my updates on my revision surgery. I'm excited, guys. Pray for me. Pray for me. All right, I love you.